Hey guys, welcome to Hong Kong, where I'm in a huge crowd of people in a sea of plastic electronic roses. I am back, and you guys can see it all live. We're on Periscope. Thousands and thousands, 25,000 electric plastic roses with LED lights have been put out to say love because nothing, nothing says love like plastic flowers with LED lights. Now, if the LED lights are blinking different colors, that can be love. Kind of like the same way it says Santa Claus. So let's get a better view of them. Thank you. What's the point? Oh, what's the point of love? Okay, the official point is to celebrate years of friendship between the South Korean people and the people of Hong Kong by having a public art display that shows love. But they did it at Valentine's Day, so everybody just kind of thinks, hey, it's Valentine's Day. You just woke up, hey, Pablo, how's it going? Oh, see, they got their roses. They got real ones. That's true love. Anyway, we're here in central Hong Kong. This is Admiralty District of Hong Kong. And there are different, different color LEDs would be kind of cool, but man, I can't get up on the wall to save my life. Everybody's taking selfies. Up. It is kind of a friendship in art, I guess. Hello, Phoenix. Welcome to Hong Kong. Uh, my wife doesn't want anything for Valentine's Day. So maybe I'll take her some, some noodles tonight. These are the roses. They do look pretty cool, especially when you backdrop it with the big buildings. They are lit up. They have little LED lights. There's an LED light in every single one of them. Uh, they're a couple feet tall. There you go. It is rather pretty, isn't it? It doesn't look as tacky as you would expect 25,000 plastic roses to look. I know. Well, I had to downplay it. I didn't want you to get your hopes up. See the true spirit of Valentine's Day. Doing. I'm on the global list again. Oh no. Well, the wand of narcissism is everywhere here. I did tell the wife to come down. She said, I'm in my pajamas, so. No, it's not graffiti. It's a Chinese New Year lights on the side of the building. If you're just joining me, I'm Penguin6. I take you on hiking tours of Hong Kong every day as I go for 20,000 footbit steps. So slide left, tap my profile and follow, and you'll get views like this. Well, not actually views like this, but views of Hong Kong pretty much every single day. Right now we're in the Admiralty District of Hong Kong where the public art display uh, called, um, I don't know, Plastic Flowers Mean I Love You or something uh, is here. It's a gift from the government of South Korea. It's going to be here for one week. Love is fleeting. Well, at least for a week. Look at all the little flashlights on the other side. Everybody's waving their things. Uh, you know, you could run through the field, but you'd actually get onto these cables here. You see, each rose is powered by a cable. And like little hidden snakes, they're all over the place down in there. It is beautiful, isn't it? The roses themselves are just plastic flowers. Um, there you go. Just little silk but not even silk, you know, polyester silk. Nothing says I love you like something made in a factory by someone making minimum wage. I have no idea who the artist is, if there was one. I think there's some sort of team, some sort of a private group. Ah, yeah. Boy, they will be auctioned off, actually, after this is over. Oh, some guy. 
<laughs> so let's go around and see if another thing. Oh, can get down here. Oh, she has real flowers. Somebody really loves her. So it's the year of the monkey. Chinese New Year just popped up here. That's what some of the things are. Let's see if we can make our way around and get a little bit closer. Interestingly, there's more space down on this side. I guess the farther you get from the subway, the easier it is to get close to the flowers. Oh, well, let's go around to the bottom here. I have no idea. Each I, I counted earlier, each wire can support 24 flowers. So they had like the wire and then it would split. Oh, here I'm at the, I'm at the corner here. John Ho, you don't know about this? Are you kidding me? Dude, do you live in Hong Kong? Really? <laughs> no, I'm teasing you. See, John Ho, you don't read the Daily Mail. If you read the Daily Mail out of England, this was like big, big page one story in the Daily Mail the other day. <laughs> I was surprised that you guys hadn't been over here. Or, and actually, Zora just lives across the street. But this is up until February 22nd. You guys should come on over, John Ho and Zora. Should, the two should come over here. There's a small little garden over here. I don't know what this is. This is for, like, people who only have a little bit of love, I guess. They're over here. Maybe if you want to get closer to what they look like. Let me see if I can climb up on this uh, thing here without getting yelled at by somebody who likes to yell at people. There we go. Ugh. Yeah, literally, Anika's definitely got to come to Hong Kong. It's not that far. It's only about seven or eight hours, I think, from Dubai. He's on your news last night. Zora the Explorer is another periscoper. Jonathan J.K., John Ho. These are all periscopers here in Hong Kong. And myself, Penguin6. You can follow any or all of us, and you'll see different parts of the city. I don't usually get out at night that much. I have kids, and I'm usually busy with them. A drone would be pretty cool, you know? See it on Wednesday. Yeah, there's the news stories about this all over the uh, all over the world. That's where I saw in the Daily Mail and stuff like that. But this is an example. Hong Kong is like just constantly vibrant. Uh, this just popped up. I mean, it just popped up like in the last couple days, and boom, it's here. Oh, the rugby sevens. That's insanity. That is sheer insanity. Be sure to bring your Smurf costume or whatever you want to dress as. Um, it's actually to celebrate free trade between Korea and Hong Kong, but I think love is probably good enough reason. Bum, 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 bum. There's actually flowers on that building over there, the ICC tower. They've got some flower lights. I'm going to have to bring my real camera here next time. I think I'll bring my wife here if she wasn't in her pajamas. The wheel is okay. Um, it is 9.44. got to get home soon. It didn't take very long. The lights will stay here till February 22nd. The kids go to bed about 7.30, so I guess they could see it. It opens at 6 every night. So maybe I could bring them out. Oh, that dude gets to walk through it. He's looking for love. He's lost it. It's somewhere out there. Hello, Tokyo. Welcome to Hong Kong. Chinese Valentine, yeah. Mm, I think I should go back the way I came. I think it would be a better view. All right, get your screenshots. We're going to walk here in a bit. I do live here, here in Hong Kong. No, you can't walk through it. That would be too cool, wouldn't it? That would be, like, nice. But no, bureaucrats, no, don't walk through it. Oh, they're going to auction off all the flowers. I think they. somebody told me they were already sold out. Well, there's a bird. <laughs> He's checking it out, too. He's kind of like, what the hell is that thing? You know, this is neat because this is not an expensive project. I mean, if you figure each one of these costs a buck, uh, then it's like 25 grand to do something this impressive. 
you know, a small city could do this. Take their art budget, do something this interesting. Hello, Ohio. Welcome to Hong Kong. Um, bum, bum, bum. I have never seen so many wands of narcissism. Yeah, just over the weekend. Boom, boom, boom. These are just plastic flowers. Honestly, you could go to Walmart and buy these things, except these have a little LED light inside them that lights them up. Yeah, good profit. They're probably inspired by the poppy display in uh, in uh, England. Oh, you bought one, cool. <laughs> yeah. So guys, um, tell you what, I'm gonna actually sign off and then I'm gonna take a couple Instagrams. My Instagram's Penguin6, I'll post them up there. But then I gotta get home, because my wife is mandating that I return. But uh, anyway, I uh, hope you enjoy this. I will probably come back here again with the wife tomorrow. So if you didn't see it tonight, maybe I'll give you another chance tomorrow. All right, guys. Catch you later. Thanks for watching.